Essentially, the 53rd week started out as a just another group of volunteers heading down to the Dominican Republic. Um, we basically uh, initially started out with Henry um, as a medical student uh, going down to from Kansas City to the uh, town of La Romana in the Dominican Republic, and he'd go down for a one-week clinical experience. Essentially, the goal was to basically provide clinical care in mobile medical clinics. Um, and uh, he brought me on a few years after that, and we've been going down to put our seventh or eighth trip down there since as an organization. Uh, we kind of realized that there is a, a lot of more wider upstream things that were just not being addressed in terms of what we were doing as a short-term trip. And we said, okay, we need to maximize the benefits derived by the community um, from these visiting short-term volunteer teams. But our goal is essentially to use innovation and research to shift the balance of benefits to favor the population being served, that's purported to be served, as opposed to you know, the, uh, the nature of the way uh, short-term trips are now. We actually call them kind of the placebo of global health, right? So it's like, you go down there, you feel good about it, the community feels good about it, but nothing really changes, nothing really gets better. So um, the 53rd week came from the idea that there's very little that you can do in one week. But if you have folks band together, if you take short-term trips and you properly collaborate them, properly coordinate them, have sort of shared project management common goals, you can, if you plan week on week, then you can build something that's bigger than the sum of its parts. So the idea that's bigger than the ordinary, right? So that's sort of who we are in a nutshell. And why we got interested in this is because short-term trips are essentially becoming extremely popular in North America. Uh, we all know that short-term trips, volunteer trips, usually refer to trips abroad that last anywhere between 7 to 90 days. That's what the limited literature on the subject is saying. Um, they're typically undertaken by folks like us who basically, you know, want to do good, but you, you can't get an extended, you know, period of time off, or you may not necessarily be able to finance a longer period of time off as well. And so given that our experience has been largely medical, um, you may notice that uh, as the last bullet there I've written, uh, mentions there are other fields that do this as well. So in La Romana there are other teams that do construction, um, education, also in our experience religious outreach can also be a, a goal for some of these teams. Um, and uh, But in terms of a medical perspective, like I said, we're talking about trips where medical students, residents, physicians go abroad for 7 to 14 days and they usually either conduct clinical care, uh, provide preventive services, or they, uh, they conduct research. So those are sort of the three typical experiences.